I O. Now let one another help you to get a software lineup. Install on your basically on your on your machine. Okay, after you finish, everybody finish, let me know. We move to the next thing. I, I download it. I install it. Got it. We are about to open up. Okay. Okay, we're going to open up the software. Yeah, first go to the helper section. If you look at that, there is called customer themes. Click on that, you will open up to, oh, not customer themes, so sorry. Let's go back to the website where you came from. On the top menu, you can see the theme section, right? So I will teach you first, let's, let's get some themes. You can see different uh, kind of themes, am I right? So, uh, hey, I like this theme. Eh? What do you think, guys? This is a good theme, am I right? So, let's download this one called the Torilica. Yeah, so you can see it's open up this file. This is really gibberish for you guys, but see it anyway. See with it. Um, let's just see it in the download folder. So, up here in your file, save as. We can just do command S. Why not? Co yeah, this is easier. Command S works as well. So, we're just going to hit that. Just use use web Yeah, you're good. Yeah. You just did use web archive. Mm -hmm. Web archive. Okay. Web archive. Yeah, you should use that. I guess. Did you want to see? Are we. Yeah, see so, anywhere accessible to you, basically. We're so going to copy the, it. The web archive would be wrong because we want to save the CSS. CSS, the CSS file. file. Yeah, CSS file. So you yeah. don't... Only the CSS. Well, uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> so should I go to web, um, archive the page source instead? See the page as will, will do the job. In the drop down list, let's go back again. You can see mine is like this, am I? From here in the files, uh, what if a browser you're using? I'm using Safari. Okay, basically there is a save page as. That's what I will do, so. Wait, are you in Safari or let me, let me use Safari to, to show you. Okay, if you Safari. Try and save this page, it's gonna save it as a .web archive page. Is that right? Yeah. Look at this page. Yes. Okay, see as, see you as, you can see called uh, Tolia da, 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 CSS, and then click on the save. Look at the format. Yeah, the format, yeah. yeah this the is CSS. Right there, where it says CSS, am I right? At the CSS. bottom where it says format, it says web archive. Oh. Oh, that's what you need to Okay, uh, no, not web archive. You want this. Web source, web archive is okay. Is okay. I mean, no, 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 web source is okay. Page, yeah. Page source. Make sure it's a CSS, the last three digits. So, so how I save it is fine. Yeah, then yeah, save it. it. Yeah. See the, see the folder you want to pay attention to where you save to. You might I save it in download folder. It will be like, like this, okay? You don't yeah. want to append it because that will change the, that will change it. To a 
So it shouldn't say, yeah, it's about CSS. Did you say that in your downward for Naomi? It should be the name of that thing about CSS. Well, when Robert Brown cannot be open because it is from an unidentified developer. So go to your system preferences. <coughs> It says CSS style tree. Or is that where I'm supposed to look? Yeah, at? your your file name is CSS. Yeah. CSS file. Okay, before you worry about that, actually, let's see what you have those two about CSS file, because you might not need to open it. Alright. You think it could be a problem with mine being an error instead of a MacBook? Like this can process. Yeah, yeah. Stuff, right? mm -hmm. Are we good? Okay. Let's find the file we're sitting on and uh, make sure that you open up in that in your finder, like mine, you're going to see it on my download folder, right? So, make it sense to you? Okay. Don't open it up from downloads? Yeah. Don't, don't, don't open it yet, just make sure it opened up. Make sure you know where it's at. Go to Typera, the software itself, and click on the top menu, Typera, in the drop down, go to preference, preference. And you can see this interface come up. Click on the second menu item called appearance. Okay. Then the last session called the. Let me show it again. Open up the software called the Typera. Did you open up or not? Okay. <coughs> yeah. Okay. Go to Preferences. Then go to the second menu item, drop down menu there. I'm just not drop down, side menu there. Appearance. There's a the last session called the Themes. And click on this button called the Open Themes folder. That's interesting. Open themes folder, huh? Might literally open up to something else. Uh, wh what do you guys look like? Where where it goes? Might go to the. Mine goes to. Yeah, you're good. Mine goes to GitHub. Yeah, why why mine is not getting it? Okay, basically, uh, you know where to go. You go to somewhere, am I? Right? So yes, we, it opened up another location. Why is why is my is not opening up? Let's see, it's crazy, huh? Okay. Anyway, then basically in that folder, copy that CSS file into it. So, so the one that so it opens up a new window. Yeah. 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 Okay. My evidently doesn't work, I think. Oh, yeah, delete that. Oh, yeah, delete that. 
Are we are we are we good? My actually have a problem. Look, it's damaged. I don't know why. Your Sephora? Yeah, or look at that. Resource busy said. What's going on here? I don't understand it. It's not a good thing? Not really. Okay. <laughs> awesome so, after all that work sorry for that. that. No, the then, is then you don't like it and delete it. Basically, that's how you apply. If you don't like that theme, you can always download another theme. Yeah, thing. download another theme. Yeah. So, some of you may don't know how to do this stuff. So, okay, now you all got it right, am I? Okay, it should be ended to just go back to Tapara, go to themes. You guys might have facing the wrong, wrong direction, you might want to change your, your direction. Elijah and Esther, you might want to turn around a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. So. Get confused because you're in the wrong side. So maybe you can change positions. No one in lanes and knows better. I can to turn around. Oh, you can? Okay. <laughs> can do that. So I'm on the right area right now. Okay. Now, so to now, please follow my step. Go to drop down menu, uh, the menu in Taipora. Oh, quit, quit, restart. restart then. So if you got the file dragged in, now you're going to click that, click to go to Typora at the top menu, and then go to quit. Then reopen again. And then quit Typora. Mm -hmm. Quit. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to command space bar, type in Typora again, and reopen the application. And then that theme will then be available for you to select. So this, that camera brought Oh, you can delete it. You don't need to save it. You don't Sorry, we didn't make a masterpiece today. <laughs> And then open the application back up, Esther. Oh, the, the type No, 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 no. Oh. That's just the file. So that CSS file is just, that's the code that tells the theme, like, how to look the way that it looks. Oh. So we're changing, you can change themes. So you show them how you can do a custom theme. Yeah. Yeah, reopen Typora. So, okay. okay. And then go to themes. And now, <coughs> you should see Toro. Yeah. Now that's it. Okay. Everybody apply a new theme to the your to your new f <coughs> new app. Okay. Okay. We're gonna choose another theme which commonly come with type around. Go to themes folder. Go to the one. Ah, oh, you can GitHub. Do you have GitHub? Yes. Okay. Choose that one. So now we're not using the theme that we downloaded. We're gonna go back to themes and use a different theme. The one that's called GitHub. So go back to the themes menu, just up at the top. Okay. Yeah. Like your file, edit, menu of themes, and hit GitHub. I'm going to go back to GitHub. You did it? Yeah. Oh, okay. You did it the long way. So now it's like a big white page. Yeah. Okay. Okay. But I already have one. Okay. Now I want to tell you add a new file. You can command N or use the drop down in the top file, new, and get a new file, okay? Normally, you don't want your things to be on saved. You want to make sure this file is saved somewhere. In our case, we want to save it instantly. Save, command S, or save in the drop down says save. And you're going to go to somewhere, right? You're going to save somewhere.
Yeah. 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 I'm gonna use the word called Trini. Good. Okay, are we good? Okay. Okay. So you can see markdown. There are themes. This is appearance the same. There are different kind of themes, concept as well. But we're going to only right now talking about the themes used for your writing. Now markdown is a good replacement for WordPress. You know, in the Microsoft World. Pages, uh, even not completely like that, but it, you you don't need those software for your normal homework anymore. You can or teach you all export things like uh, in those software you had a save file in a certain format. It's hard to 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 post somewhere. My Markdown is 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 a word programmer used all the time. Then you can export it as PDF file, as a Word document, as HTML file. Different kind of formats which you use different by, by different uh, platform like web browser, like Word document, like PDF for readers. Am right? So, I uh, use one controlling sheet in a sense, and you can export all those formats rather than depends on those software how to do the jobs. You know, so this also. In web design world, the people use this to write their documents, documentations. Now, what good at it is, 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 is so you don't worry about formatting things anymore because that you don't need to worry about the complications, the interfaces, the edge software, you know, all those worry about. But you just need to work, remember a simple code, which I will teach you. Then get produce those all those out and even. Exporting different format, you know, for example, different design of PDF files, you know, different templates. You need those very well. HTML has different layout, you know, so you can instantly apply those styles using this as well. So, uh, to give you an example, let's go to go to um, type in in your web browser a new tab called the Lorem Gibson. Okay, Lorem. Just type in Lorem, you can see. La Lorem Ipsum. Okay, there's a website for that. You can see called uh, Lorem Ipsum Generator, right? So let's see Lorem Ipsum Generator, this one. I'm going to use this one. Okay, yes. You can see there's a, you can generate many things, right? So I want to use the one, instantly one, it's... Now do we got it? Okay, you can see the generate. Let's generate. Okay, so you have five paragraphs instantly there, and go to copy. Click on copy. Now go back to your type uh, type of uh, a PC. Com command V gonna paste in. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 
and plan B. Okay, now I want you to open up in the help menu in Typora, Typora called a quick start there, okay? Quick start. Mm -hmm. You can see in the first one, let's read it briefly, Typora use a feature live preview, okay? So, for example, you go back to this file called uh, training or whatever the, so, uh, the, the file you just use, paste that in. You just enter, type, I'm not sorry, type, not enter. Type in the point, there is a, uh, hold on, let me see. Window, I'm not sure, sure now. Where is it? Going to be preview mode. How to see them preview, I'm sorry. What are you saying? Uh, we don't know. Okay, so it's basically the things you type in gonna instantly uh, being previewable. Okay, Markdown normally come with a code, uh, so it's hard to see. Let's just uh, first go to the this place, give a new line to it. Type in this pound sign, said heading one. Okay, like that. Heading one. Okay, yeah. they enter it. You can see. This is a heading one. Now go to the next paragraph, like this. You type a two pound signs. Set heading two. Okay, then click anywhere. You can see a different uh, style begin to apply. Am I right? Then three pound signs. Heading heading three. Yeah. Okay, this is now going to be four pound signs. Hold on, I think we, we need them. Okay, this one, you can see how many pound signs? One, two, three. That's different levels heading now, am I right? One pound sign, heading one, two pound sign. Heading three. Let's just actually get to the top one. Above the, where it says one next one. Yeah. But so, so what you'll want to do is you want to put your cursor right in front of that first word, Lorem. Mm -hmm and then press the enter button. And it should scoot your line down. Oh, okay. So yeah, just bring it up. Yeah. Don't feel bad about Esther you just in the starting stage of learning computer usage. Yeah. It's depends on how many so number you, size you put. So what you need to do is, so in front of, so you want it to be big. Okay. So in front of heading one, put one pound sign and then a space. Just copy my code there, okay? The same we're using in the drop down menu so, for the okay, GitHub. So this is just not showing up because you do want to space after the pound signs. <laughs> yes. Oh, so in between, yeah. Mm -hmm. Must have space. After three, oh, you want to click after three, and then when you press enter, it goes to heading with the same name. So you want to do that to all of them. Right. So, so yeah. we're using GitHub theme. Okay. So, change, so what it does is what he's showing you is that even though you have the same text, when you switch themes that have different um, like formatting to it, it's a way to really quickly change like the edits of your of the look of your, your document okay. by just switching themes because that heading style, that heading code or you know, is just being processed differently based on whatever theme you use. Wait, I'm really doing theme review. Yeah, we're going to go to the fourth paragraph now. On top of it, getting heading four. So you can see different sizes automatically pre-formatted for you in a sense, right? So now if you click on command slash, okay? Slash is this, 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 is this sign. Look this, okay? This way. Command, do this. Command and click on that thing. You can shift to between original code command 
and then the live preview. You can see that. So, so when you look at it that way, you can actually see your code. You actually see those those yeah. hash marks that you put in there. Yeah. But if you do command and then the question mark button again, you, you just press shift. Yeah. Then you can toggle between the preview, which is like what it look what that code is doing. It's making that larger uh -huh. heading. Uh -huh. But then if you go back, then you can actually see okay. that how you got there. Press the same thing again. Okay. Let's uh, add a new line about the fourth, the fifth paragraph. I'm gonna get the five pound sign there. Now you can, uh, you guess what? Heading line five, right? So now you can look at that. You know, the last one you're gonna end six. Basically, this is there's a sixth level of headings. Okay, you don't need more than that, I believe. You know, so now you can see. There are different formats of headings, okay? Okay. Okay. Let's go to the other file on the tab menu called the Quick Start. Then, yeah, it's grayed out. Yeah. Now we're going to learn. So if you go to Help and then Quick Start. It's going to open up another little tab. Oh. And that's like a resource. You can toggle between your document and this document. Okay. And this document has some helpful things for you. Information. Is this making sense to you guys? Okay. Yep. Okay. We're going to open up in the help menu. Go to markdown reference and then document. Markdown reference. Okay, this is what I'm gonna follow for training. Okay. Okay, you can see. Yeah, we can see there are different sections of block section, block elements, span elements, HTML. Am right? Three. You can see three outline block, span elements, and HTML. Well. Block elements, basically paragraphs, headers, those kind of things. Am right? Each one you can see differently. So we're going to see that the way called the paragraph. This uh, span elements basically within one line almost. Am right? You can add emphasis. You can add URL links. You can add code. You can add emoji. You can add underline, breakthrough, those kind of things. Making sense is within a line on the sentence, not the paragraph, between paragraphs. HTML basically is the thing that are going to be embedded in this coder, or uh, code editor that you can embed HTML elements. Now let's turn to the block elements. The first we're going to look at, actually before that, let's do, well, I don't need the review. Paragraph, okay? Look at the paragraph and line break, okay? Let's read it. Basically, you know what to do, am I? You want one new black line, just enter, am I? Re return, sorry. Use return to do that. So you want to click on paragraph and line break? Yeah. So the top menu is at the very top. Yeah. Yeah. Now, you, you, if you want in a paragraph, say, so let's turn back to the other page. Okay, let's see. I want to control command. Then return. Command then return. That is a break, not a paragraph. Okay. Okay. Let's look look at the difference. Anywhere in between. Here we go. Can you go here? I think it's shift. 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 Enter. Exactly. Shift. Enter. I'm sorry. Shift. Enter. Shift. Return. Rather. You can see it's not a new paragraph, it's a breaking point, am I? Right? Drop it down to the next yeah. line rather than pushing it down further to make a whole new paragraph. So it's not a new paragraph, okay? So we already talked about the headers. Now I'm going to talk about the uh, block quote, okay? Within the second paragraph under heading two, uh, we're going to do is Epsom. You can see the Epsom word. Okay, let's go there and make the cursor before it 
and enter. Enter, you can start a new paragraph easily. Now, then end this thing, okay? Shift, small sign, you know? Shift, small sign. Let me show you what it is. This, this one, okay? This guy. Yeah, greater than, sorry. Yeah, so you can see instantly this paragraph. Return, and then right in front of the new return, you're going to do shift, and then like where the period is. So you're going to make the, the greater than sign. Yes, and then. Okay, do you guys see the look? Mm -hmm. Okay. All of you? See how it made it gray? This is called a block code in HTML coding. But basically, you quote somebody's saying, am right? Or something set out in a book format, you will see block code all the time, am right? In reading process. This, this is how we format it in using software in Markdown. Very simple. What have you? Just this one, one symbol, you can accomplish that whole thing, am right? Making sense to you? So. Word, you have to highlight the text, make it gray, indent it. So it's like, it's like this is like offering you a quicker way to format text. Okay, okay. Yeah. Word simple, am I right? In the sense, am I right? So they preformat it. Also, universal, you don't have to go to every element and say, let me make the same style like the one I did before. You remember the, the hassle with that, you know? So you want to format all the Headings, wine, the same style, you have to go through all the hustle, copy, paste, okay, everything. Like if you wrote a book yeah. and you have multiple, <laughs> as opposed to having, if you're doing this like in a Word document, as opposed to having to go like, let me highlight chapter one, and change that because I want it to be blue instead of black, mm -hmm. and then go to chapter two, I have to change that one to be blue instead of black. Now all of your headings have this style, so you okay. can change that in one place, and they're all going to change all at once. All the magic. Save you from having to change elements individually. Yeah. Is that, that making sense to you guys? Mm -hmm. All the uniform, you can pay a lot of attention to design the, the one you like and then apply it across the board. Making sense to you? So, yeah. Okay. So, that is, let's go back to the Markdown reference document again. You can see blog quotes. You can see lists. You remember, you want to do a list a whole hard day. So remember that? So, now we're going to do list. Okay, I'm going to go to the second, third paragraph here. Start with the no. No, put your cursor before that, enter. Okay, I'm going to, uh, let me just uh, first use this, this kind of thing, okay? So I'm going to put my cursor before this. I'm going to type this one, okay? Can see that? Give a space after this, okay? A dash, basically. Yeah. Then before liberal, I'm going to, to enter again. Automatically, can see what? Give me that same character, am I? There. You can see, now I'm done. Okay, I'm done. I get, uh, now I need to. So in front of the sentence, so find the sentence, and you want to enter it, so right to the next line, put a dash. So it's a dash symbol that's up there next to the plus sign. You use a dash and then space, and it's going to turn into a bullet. And you can make a bulleted list by just oh, using yeah. a dash. No, now, here is I am uh, in the flu, am I? When I break it as double return, 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 I'm sorry. Uh, actually, one return, uh, let me go back here, okay? So I'm here, okay? I'm going to go back to this. The thing. Now I'm gonna break this, okay? I'm gonna break this. Now we are we okay now? Oh, just so um, so what you did is I think you did it within your block quote. So um, what you'll want to do? So you you want to get rid of all those greater than signs, okay. and you just want to have a dash, a dash, and then space. So, what do I do on the heading 
Oh, here what we're gonna do. Elijah is seated with a change of seat with Nova. Let Nova help Esther. You have a Elaine's help. So. Okay, I'm going to break, okay? Now you can see, I'm, I'm going to break. So while I break this, I just go in here and then delete this this thing, okay? Delete it. So then, yeah. So then after that, you can command rest square, okay? Command the, uh, the left brackets, left brackets. You can see it. I do it again and delete this left bracket. There we go. And then you do command and then the left bracket and it's going to pop it over. Do you see it do that? Let's, let's turn to left bracket, then right bracket. You can see this, you know, you can see this change, okay? Change one. Let's let's put it the the thing before the cursor. This paragraph on the beginning, command left brackets first. The command right brackets. You can see the shifting so between. Right yeah, you can see the shifting. Okay. Now what have you is when you command left shift. Basically, you you in the in the documents word documents you have this uh, thing can move move. Am I right? Say so, you know move one one section one another section like column you know move another section. Remember this they have give you three options there to do moving in between middle then move shift right. You don't need that. You need this keyboard shortcut. Okay, so now move behind be move be here. Basically, what I have you is this is a compile this paragraph and line up with that uh, above. That 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 outline make, make it sense to you. That's what it called. Yeah, exactly. You know. So now, if you break it, it just okay. I wanted to move ahead of it. You know, like a click on that button in the in the WordPress, and I click on it to make them shift to the left. You know, so you know, says, but this case, this in this case, you don't have those control menus, control buttons, icons. You just use key keyword a keyboard shortcuts. Am I making sense to you now? Command. Look command slash again. We'll go to the original code. You will see the difference. Okay. So command, slash, slash, mark. command slash exactly. Now you do the same thing. You know. Look at this. You get this. This is basically there's a shift here, right? Automatically going to shift for you. Okay. So let's back here. Okay. That's how you add. Uh, Called the on order list. Okay, right now I'm gonna add the order list. How I do that? I'm gonna type in one point, then uh, what? Uh, 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 empty space. Am I right? The second one, gonna just enter. You can see I got the second one, now I got the third one, now I got the fourth one. And I'm gonna break this again by doing the same thing. Okay, see I break it. So you just add number, then dot, okay? Number dot. Remember how difficult it is to format these things in Word documents? You have to click, select everything to do it. Now you just easily to do it. Now, now I want to have under three points. I want to have a 3.1, you know? How I do that? I'm going to do this. 
we're going to do this. What have you? You guys see, I begin to have a Saba list, then right? So, yeah. Now we're going to break this again. Then command. This time you're going to need two, then right? So, because you just shift two gears. You can see. What have you? This is another list, Saba list, then right? So making sense to you? So, okay, that's about listing. You can do this with this as well. Look at this, okay? And do this. Okay. I want you to show you. You guys don't feel super challenged because this is new stuff for you. No, no, push enter there, push enter at the end. Oh, okay. No, give me a right right here. You're just learning how to do that. Oh. Is it making sense to you? This is new for some some new newcomers, it's totally new. For you didn't know what they learn coding seems more familiar to them. So don't be intimidated. You're gonna get to use this real quick. Now I want you all your essays and homework in the future use this tool to be reported. Okay, so you gotta learn it, begin to use it. If you have a struggle, go to this document with a show you from the right spot to, to to recover it. You need to learn documentation because software, everything you need to like reading a manual, you need to learn to read a manual to use software. Okay, so it's a skill so you're going to have to learn yourself. So, okay, now we're good. Now go back to this uh, sub menu again. I want you to try to make a sub list on order. This is called the order list, it's called the order list. Order list is one, two, three. All order list is bullet points, right? So now give a Try to make a, a sub list for this bullet point. You know, <laughs> I want you to try yourself without me talking about it. You know, say, I'm going to do this. Look at that. I got three lists there. So we just made a sub list under three. We'll do the same thing, but under one of the bullet points. I want you to try yourself. So. In the document, they have all conventions, they call conventions, different headings, different paragraph styles, different, you know, blog quotes. This is called the order list. Order list. This is a terminology in documentation and formatting called wordpressing. You got to learn those things. It's uh, it's across the board in every software, right? To follow the same convention. Okay, so now let's go back to this. Uh, this place called the task list. That's a good one. Okay, I'll show you task list now. What time is it, Noah? One thirty-two. One thirty-two. Okay, we're gonna finish this by two. Okay, so so let's uh, go to the sec third paragraph of uh, the fourth paragraph under heading four. You're gonna type in left brackets, right brackets. I'm sorry. First, get this one going on, okay? Huh? Not true. Let me see what they say. Oh, this is the convention. So, gonna go. Hold on. Again, this, current, then left, right, brackets, 
I think that's hard to do it. I'm not so sure. What's going on here? That's a space, space. Bracket space. space bracket. Okay, that's the way. Okay, there is a bracket here. Okay, there you go. Okay, again, dash space, left bracket space, right bracket, same space. Instantly will change this to be like that. All right. So now I'm going to yeah. Space. Dash. Dash. Like, just like the little minus sign by itself. And then space. And then you want to do the left, left bracket. bracket. Space. Right bracket. Space. Right bracket. Then space. Again, space. Yeah. Now click on that. Click on the mark. You can see what have you. You can check it off. So therefore, this is called the test list. Okay, you can check it off, check it on, check it off. Right. So now in original code, if you look at this one, first let's uncheck this. Make sure you go to another word or whatever. You see, I see, and on the list automatically show up. So it's called test list. Okay. Okay. Am I making sense to you guys? Yeah. You can see that I got three tasks. Now I'm going to check in the middle one, but check it off. Like click on that. You look at uh, command slash again. Go to the original code. You will see an X and in between there, right? There's an X there. See how it changed the code? We have an X in between the brackets of the one that you checked. Yeah. Okay. So that's how you check off a task list. This is very useful when you do. Writing, you want to list out what you want to do, you know, in the document, you can separate document and say, hey, I want the task list, and right, right. You understand my point, especially when you do homework or documentation, remember what to do, you know, so uh, then check it out, those things. Okay, let's go back to the live with you interface. Go back to the markdown reference. And there's a code blocks. Okay, code blocks are hard to, to tell you, but eventually you might write a code. Let's just say I'm going to write a code, you know, so like uh, I'm going to pair uh, paragraph, okay, lorem uh, 1p, and that can work, okay, law p1, I'm sorry. Okay, okay, elegantly. I'm going to do and w 100. I think there we go. I got a, uh, a, a paragraph, am I? So now all this paragraph is what? In a coding format. It's like a black it out, am I? This is called a code. Now, in case you have a uh, certain kind of other code that you're going to do is this, you know, so this is PHP. Now instantly I get this going on, I then I, I write a different, uh, for example, function. This is uh, just uh, for your information, okay, so echo, hello, you know, so this is a a code block called okay. It's called a block. It not much much sense for you for now, uh, but uh, uh, it will make sense for you. I want to, you to open up a, a a new web page called GitHub dot com. Okay. GitHub dot com. I want you to type here. Okay, I want you to type here called a bootstrap, okay? Bootstrap. Yeah, 
Do you see this? Okay. Early on, you don't have to really do this same. Let you just say, let let's just follow my convention will be fine. Okay. Yeah. This you don't have to do it yourself. You can just see what I try to refer to you. I just give you example. Yeah. So you don't want us to do this? No, no, do this. Just do this. You can see this whole section here is used as markdown. Wrote. This is a markdown. All this are markdown. You can see all this section are markdown. Okay? Now, in particular, you will see this is a GitHub's markdown. So, right? You can see that's called the code section. A little bit code snippet there. Making sense to you guys? So, yeah, there are other places you can see. Uh, let's see, quick start. You know, those are section junks, uh, sections about the original code. Okay, this one, for example. Now, don't worry about that. Let's go back here. You can see the my. That's what it look like. Am right? Seeing the section code. This HTML code can be coded like that. This is called the code session. What you do called the you call the, the, the what is called this Elaine? This is called the tick, am I? Right? This top one. This under escape key. That's how you do it. Turn back to the original code. You can see there's a one kick here, one back kick here, three back kick with a language symbol. You know, that's how you do code code section. Okay, this might be used this for you. But no one might use for you, okay? So this is how you do documentation code, okay? So now back here, you can see these two sections appear differently. Go back to Markdown again. Your math block, well, you can see there's a math block. You can write a math like that, which is a very different for word documents to process, right? So now you can do it. This have those languages for you. This is Markdown in a deep level. You have to do it yourself, but we don't want to do it. Okay, today we want to do this one. However, you can see first header, second header, then something, then content cell. I want you to copy this section. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Copy this session and. Uh, in the end of the heading six and the more I want you to do to this three three dots like three three what I call them three that thing a dash. a dash exactly what have you you can see three dash are going to give you when you enter you have a horizontal line automatically show up so this is one section on the one when you copy that thing in instantly you can see a table show up right do you see that a table show up Does it work for you guys? Yeah, Good. Okay, now we're going to use the original code command slash again. You can see the code, am I? Okay, now I want you to write another table. Let's use the first, the second, and sell as the content, okay? First, second, and a head. So what do you do? You just basically shift this. You know how to type this one? Okay, just do first, second, like I'm doing. You can see what I did. I got another table underneath by typing this code. Okay? Making sense to you guys? Now type in and see what it looks like. 
working working for you guys good I'm gonna do this now. I'm gonna sell one. I'm gonna add another cell, line cell to this. Like that. I'm going to. I know I'm typing too fast. Maybe just follow my format. Do you see it? Very easy. Pipe. Yes. We got it. Okay. Then command slash again. You go back. You will see the table continued. Am right? So. Like the one we had in the beginning. So. Yeah, it doesn't matter really. However, make sure the pipe always is have a space before and after the pipe, if you call. It. Yeah. Is it making sense? It's work very easy for you to add content like a table and right? So you want to add table. So anyway, so let's go back to the format. You can have footnotes, you can see you can add footnotes. Now this is a very good one. Okay, let's go to go back to Lawrence Gibson again. Okay, we're going to add, uh, choose the, call the sentences section, set a five sentences, generated, and copy it. And then here, you're going to add the three dots again, so you have a section. There you go, you have a new paragraph added, am I right? Mm -hmm. Now you can see the power of this this software, right? When you use to get used to it, right? Instant, yeah. instant. Okay, we're good. Okay, good. So now you can see we're going to to what we learn going to be this topic called the footnotes. Okay, we're going to add footnotes to this sentence then. Okay, said. Okay, <coughs> to this guy. 
footnotes, you can see the convention here. You end the footnotes like this. Okay, that's how you end the footnotes, okay? Okay, so what do we do? We're going to add here. We're going to add this footnotes. We're going to do... We said it that time, right? So I don't quite remember now. Hold on. Yeah. Okay. This. Now then, do this. What is it called? You know. Okay. Put a note. Put a note. Put a note. One. Okay. Put a note one. Huh? Is that right? I don't think we should add this. There's no space here, okay? There's no yeah. space here. Okay. Now, for those one, you can see in the reference, therefore, what have you, is that basically, then go here, type in your footnotes like this, okay? So, cool. what have you is typing in the same convention like this, then do this, footnotes, oh, sorry, footnotes one. Mm -hmm. Then make sure this what you call it in this call this colon. colon yeah then type in this is a this is the content sorry this is the content for food and notes one okay you can see instantly when you enter it then the the format changes. Okay, are you done? Okay, we're going to add a footnote too, just for practice. For practice reasons, we're going to add footnote two. Footnotes two. This is uh, the content of notes two. Enter. Is it making sense to you guys? This okay. Now this point I want to show you exportation a little bit. 
current uh, files in type run drop down and you will see there is a menu item called export export I think another thing too to mention that's important to do regularly as a practice is while you're typing and you kind of feel complete in one section, it's always good to do command S. Yeah, save it. Okay. Okay. This should be automatically saved. In somewhere, let's turn to reference point. I think the receive recover, you can see. Did you make the training folder? Anyway, so don't worry about it. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So you can save it in your documents, just know that this is saved. Okay, let's do export then. The first export format on the C is a PDF. Okay. Please look at the interface first before you go anywhere. Listen to me. Sorry, we're trying to get there. Oh, go ahead. Did you click PDF or are you just saving your document? Your mark? Are you saving your markdown document? I'm saving this. Yeah. Let's see file extension right now. Markdown. Yeah, okay, yes, yes, yes. So save it inside your training folder. You can click save. Okay. okay. So now he's going to show it. Now I'm going to save. He's going to show us how to export it. What do you do with it now? Okay. So you go to file, export. Always remember, save your file first. It's already working on type. Okay? So because That's you want to know where it's saved. Yeah. And you always want to keep a copy, you know, so you can save. So now let's do PDF file. Add go any folder you want to save to. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and you will see it saved a new PDF file. <laughs> yeah, like uh, mine is a training PDF, right? <laughs> Double click it, you can see you have a new file show up. Exactly like the one. <laughs> yeah, now you could go to the last paragraph, which you added the full notes, click on the one. You can see footnotes one, it's any good to the footnotes one. <coughs> and then you can turn this 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 little return button. You can go to the where it came from, go to footnote two, <coughs> go to footnote two, turn uh, this is going to where it came from. Okay. <coughs> yeah. Excuse <laughs> me, guys. Yeah. Let's close this file. Then you understand the power of this, am I right? So, I'm going to show you the. Yeah, I want to show you the same content can be exported. Next one. I hope you know what it is. <coughs> called the Word documentation, okay? This guy. So you can see a different format that showed up instantly. Yeah, that's the file extension. I'm going to open that up in my <laughs> computer. You're going to use the word open up. I'm not sure yours. What I'm going to do. Did y'all say that? Yeah. What is that? What's Handoc? We don't have Word, so do you have Word? Oh, I don't have Word. We don't you don't have Word? Have word. Yeah. Then right click, open, select, select a page. Right click here. <laughs> Right click this thing, this documents. No, none of us got there. We couldn't save it as a doc because we don't have Word. We, we, couldn't, we couldn't even save it as a doc file because we don't have Word. All of ours oh. came up with a, do you want to use a That's document? actually, it's not, not, not related to Word. So let's uh, try something else. I would know. I know the problem with that. Okay. Time with the diaper. You drop down here. You can see install and use pandoc okay pandoc is basically different formats click on that thing okay then go to this guy go to download the page okay click command click on that thing yeah now you can see the third, there you go, paddock, this KG, KK, K1, package thing. 
download them thing for you. It's odd and I was doing the same thing, so it's, it's not opening. Oh, click. Oh, I see. Yes, click that link. Will that open it? You have the command click. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Or just click the, the third option, the one that says macOS. Okay. Yeah. And PKT. Download, download that, then install it. Install have you install, install software for you. Like that. And it should go to your download folder. Because I tell you then just, you know how to do that, then right? Install it. Then just close that whole thing. I don't think you need it anymore. Go back to type or do it again. I mean, you might want to quit and reopen. Do it. Quit. Command Q. Command Q, please. Command. After, after they're done, they're still installing. Okay. So after it's done installing, then you're going to quit type or. So after <coughs> that, he wants you to go back to. Yeah, you can just trash or something. Go to type or command Q. Quit it. As in, I'm, wait, what am I, what else am I quitting where? You're just quitting the type for software. No, you need a. Okay, so go back to the type for us. Did you get me to see it? Command Q. Yep. Yeah. And then, that was it. Okay. And open it Command Q here that quits the application. So it's going to reopen type for us. Right, okay. you want them to reopen type for us? Yes. Shh. Option, spacebar, command. or command shift star, type for us. Hi, Hora. Yeah, you can see it open up again. And this time, go to the documents, training, do export again. So you have to, you have to open up that document, though. So the training document. Yeah. So open recent. Is that all? Oh uh, yeah, file open recent, and yours is called heading one dot dot. And no. yours is called. What you call it? Test. Test. So just yeah, click that one. What did you call the thing you're working on? Did you call it training or test? Oh, your video didn't recognize. Is yours called untitled? Yeah. Did I say it? Oh, yours is type for a copy. <laughs> the, yeah. Did you get yours? Yeah. Okay, they export it as Word. Let's try it. File export Word. Working, right? Yep. Okay, good. Thank you. Okay. Um, you can save it in the same markdown folder. Um, you should make it a folder. So, <laughs> so now you just. Just leave it as type 4. They can have the same name. The file extension is what's going to change, which allows you to use it in different. No. Um, here you can use it. I think you all have page, am right? In your software? Okay. So just right click open with, select a page, pages. So if you go to the training folder where you just save that doc file, it will say whatever the file name is. I think yours is heading. What is yours? Oh, oh yours is test. Go back to file. Wait, don't close that. Yours is in documents, your document folder. Okay. Hang on, yours is in your training markdown folder. So go to which one of these, heading one? But but see it's this one. See how they all have the same name, oh. but, they, but this extension is different. Mm -hmm. So when you right click on that, or um, you can press Control click. The other one. Controls. Um, okay, then open with. Oops. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> that was a lot. Of, it was. <laughs> all right, here I go. So I'm going. Click yeah. Open with. And you can choose pages. Oh. Oh, I don't have notes, so just you have page. Or pages. 
Oh, you'll have to download it. Oh, we'll have to download it. Yeah. That sure doesn't have it either. I thought it was a Because both of them got new computers. Yeah. There's a lot. Hey, download, download pages, and you might only use that software. Yeah. Go to Apple Store. No. Just, You're gonna, yes, that's right. Where are these words? Like, what even is this? Warm Epsom is like a fake filler text. Okay, go, let's, let's try if we can download page free for yourself or so not. We won't have time to do our trainings today. Uh, oh, yeah. Keep going okay. on this, which is fine. Uh, you can get your computer set. I'm going to do it. Uh, oh, it's already four, uh, 2 o'clock, so yes. not good. We, it's a good point to stop, basically. So. Now, so, like so next time I'm going to pick <laughs> up. <laughs> yeah. Well, next time I'm going to take on um, from the span elements. Okay. So most of the time, so we're going to continue. We stop at the footnotes. Okay. So okay. now pretty much you know the power of the software list, am right? So you see, it's very powerful. When you get used to it, it's very, very intuitive right now, you know, so... The key is starting to remember what the shorthand is. And yeah. And know what you're doing and know why you would use that kind of shorthand. And with, with the software, it's powerful, okay? It's just powerful. You can see everything. I will show you something very interesting. For example, go to this page. You can see, okay, I, got, I want a different interface. You know, I don't like this. I want a dark side. Oh, look at that. So just by changing the theme, yeah. the so, shorthand, you can see I, I want I want I want this one to be by anything interface, am right? So see, that's my own theme. Yeah. So if I export this one, like an, I'm gonna export this uh, again to be PDF. What do you think gonna look like? Gonna look like this one, right? So let's look at this again. Gonna replace that PDF file and go here to open that PDF again. Look at that, my PDF is like that, right? So, yeah. Is that making sense to you guys? So much better. Okay. Another quick, uh, quick, uh, quick before you really wrap it up is this one. You can see I have typewriter mode. I literally like a typewriter. I can use like a using typewriter, you know, I'm going like to what? like typewriter does it one one line or another in the middle. So I can use this uh, focus mode will have you only the paragraph work words will be highlighted and every else can feed it out. So especially for a writer, you want to or editor, this is a powerful and right. So yeah. Anyway, that's for today. Nice. Yeah. I hope you guys like it. So. Yeah, it's a good experience for them to get familiar with working on a computer. Right? On the computer, I guess so. That's yeah, the point. Okay. And then look how that the whole point out. is for you get some oh, computer okay. lessons.